Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. I've been talking for some time, which is about two or almost three months, about Russia creating a new um, club, a new group of countries that will be a, another alternative to the big club that operates currently on this uh, planet. And that club is led by the United States and um, who acts the, like the policeman of the or police woman of the of this globe of this planet and um sometimes following the international order sometimes no uh, dictating who's right who's wrong who's a good country who's a good person who's a good country and who's not and um i said that uh, a strong country uh, will not accept this it's like in a parking lot or in like in a schoolyard where you have a bully with a group of uh, followers and then one of these guys is a bully himself and is strong enough to say you know what i'm not going to listen to your leadership anymore i'm going to create my own club now um i'm uh, this club the second club will form i uh, expect new organizations that will regulate their their commerce commerce their uh, connections their um, maritime uh, regulation for instance and will issue their own insurances for their own tankers. So if, um, let's say, the big club um, bars Russian tankers to have insurance uh, and cannot operate uh, because they say so, the club said so, and their organization says so, what is the Russian supposed to do? Just listen to it, take it, bend over and take it like that. So I'm assuming that China and uh, Russia the new uh, leaders of the new forming club will say, you know what, we're going to create our own club aside from you. You're going to have your rules, we're going to have our rules, and uh, that's it. We're not going to follow your um, regulations, and you're not going to follow our regulations. We're going to function according to two sets of rules, regulations, and orders, and uh, uh, global world, a uh, global uh, warm, I was about to say, a uh, global order. So I have an article here which confirms that this kind of thoughts are and actions are moving in that direction. This article comes from Ukrainska Pravda from today, Saturday, 11th, June 2022. And this is the title, Russia invents new G8 with Brazil and Iran. You can um, uh, guess who would be a member of the G8. It's not hard because you know who's cooperating with whom. So Russia has invented a new G8 allegedly due to the breakup of economic relations with the United States. Yeah, it was normal. It was the normal course of the whole uh, uh, idea that uh, of sanctions. If I sanction you here, what do you think the other country is going to do? It depends on the country's power. If the country is weak, she's going to take it as it is. If the country is strong, will adjust and will uh, do whatever it will respond. And this is one of the responses. Sources, this is uh, Vyacheslav Volodin, head of the state Duma on Telegram. Quote from Volodin, and I'm quoting, the economies of the United States, Japan, Germany, Brazil, France, Italy, and Canada continue to collapse under the pressure of sanctions against Russia. The breakup of existing economic relations by Washington and its allies has led to the information of new points of growth in the world. The group of eight countries that do not take part in the sanctions war are China, India, Russia, obviously, Indonesia, Brazil, Mexico, Iran, Turkey. It's 24.4% ahead of the old group in terms of GDP, GDP per capita. Wow, I didn't even know that. It's 20, I mean, if you look at it, we got China in there, we got India, uh, you have the BRICS, the BRICS countries except Saudi, uh, Saudi, uh, South Africa. So it's 24, so let's say 24.5% ahead of the old group in, in terms of GDP per capita. Hmm. Uh, details, according to Volodin, these countries want to develop dialogue and mutual beneficial relations with Russia. In 2014, Russia was expelled from the G8. That's even better uh, than uh, just being barred and uh, not barred, but sanctioned. 
in a way just halfway. I'm either or, and it seems like they're either. <laughs> In a joint statement after the start of the full-scale invasion, the leaders of the Group of Seven called for the suspension of Russia's membership in the UN Human Rights Council. Russia was later expelled. All right, so they even helped. They even helped pushing them to the side. What they didn't expect, and this is a, a surprise for me, or not maybe they didn't expect, but uh, their normal, uh, they didn't expect, I'm putting first that it, they didn't expect, and I'm going to say maybe they knew, but they didn't care and they wanted to follow it the way the chips may fall. So what they didn't expect, it was the, I think they didn't expect the level of support from other countries to Russia and their uh, um, reservations or lack of support for their sanctions. And um, I think they didn't, they didn't expect India, for instance, to, uh, to deny their um, uh, requirements. That's one of the countries, I think. Um, now they insulted uh, Mexico with the Summit of Americas. Uh, not insulted, but they will get snubbed by Mexico. I don't know to what degree. This is just a public stunt, maybe. I hope not. I hope uh, Obrador will uh, show that he's a guy with... Uh, you know what I mean? And um, I, I don't think the West expected these guys to, uh, to stand by Russia and not isolate Russia. On the other hand, Maybe Russia does not expect the extent of the, the sanctions and the violence, not the physical violence, obviously, but uh, in their activities of par, par, I mean, coming from some countries in the West. And they didn't expect maybe to be pushed this far, like some you know, kicked from the SWIFT uh, uh, system and other decisions that the West made that hurt Russia. It's one thing. Now, if the West anticipated that uh, the certain countries, certain countries will not follow through, will not follow the script, uh, maybe they want to be like this. Maybe they say, okay, now is the, the time when we're going to decide uh, what are we going to do because we're losing these guys. We have, you know, like in a, in a friendship or not a friend, in a relationship, and you don't know if the relationship is, uh, you don't know the level of friendship in that relationship, or even if that's a relationship of friendship, or maybe not, you um, you create a situation, or you take advantage of a situation created in order to verify the level of friendship and see how far that person will go with you, or how um, how far that person is not willing to go with you and support you. And I think this is a test that the United States could give to the rest of the world to see who's who, what's what for real right now. And uh, I don't, it's not a dicta dictated uh, uh, move, it just happened with, uh, just happened. It's a reaction of um, the uh, Russian special operation invasion uh, with Ukraine, which that's a different story. So yes, I still think this is, uh, this is a move towards a, uh, an alternative to the big club. And uh, it's always good to have a competition, right? Um, Capitalism loves competition, and that's a reason when you are free to join whatever club, club you want, right? And who said this is the only club that should be? And these are the only organizations. Yeah, it was agreed upon by convention. They agreed to United Nations and other uh, organizations, but they're not, you know, as Biden would say, absolute. They're not absolute. They are. Uh, they are. Um, they could be changed. They're not uh, there forever. They could be adjusted, and this is what happens right now. I don't know. Uh, it it could it could uh, everything could could be stopped, but it wouldn't be stopped. It could be stopped if the war if the Westerns are telling the uh, Zelensky do this do this do this. Zelensky obviously would agree. If he doesn't agree, he's gonna disappear in about a, a week, in a certain way. Like he's just gonna say just bye bye. I'm going to Florida right now, forever. And then um, stop this, and little by little, uh, try to reincorporate Russia. But I don't think Russia is going to go back to the same, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, it's like in a domestic violence um, relationship. Let's say, uh, I'm just giving an example. Let's say my wife beats me all the time, and I can't take it anymore. I say, you know what? I'm going to mommy. So I'm going to mommy, moving to mommy. I'm just, we separate for, for some time and then she realizes that I you know well, that was a bad move uh, for me and I, uh, I should get him back 
And then, you know, she calls me, she blah, 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 and she promised me that she's not going to do this. Uh, okay, we're gonna, let's try over. When I come back, I'm back in the whole, in the relationship, and she's going to start over and or over again to abuse me. And then I'm going to go live, I'm going to live forever. And then uh, bye-bye, separation, divorce, whatever it is. So that thing of uh, going, and then you realize, wait a second, things are even worse than what were before with this guy in here. And then the person coming back should expect that this most likely did not change uh, in such a way that would say, okay, yes, um, uh, we change, we're going to start over. Uh, the abuse uh, is very likely to occur again. Uh, the same here. I don't know if Russians would say, okay, now because we have kind of the upper hand and we start upper hand and we upper upper hand, we started the process of breaking away. You realize that was stupid all of us to push it this far and we try to mend fences now and get you back. The Russia will not be accepting to come back the same thing. It's going to say no. If we come back, you're not the boss anymore. A lot of things have to be changed here. And do you think United States want to say yes? And then, then I'm going that far, but beyond that, I'm not going to go. So bye-bye. So that's how it's going to probably be. But that's all depending on if Putin and his uh, 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 leaders, fellow leaders in Russia will stay in power and they continue the same direction. And Putin is not eternal. eternal. So one day he has to, you know what I mean? So what's going to happen then? Who's going to be next? We'll find out maybe. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.